Hello guys, hello, hello, hello. Today's video is going to be pretty much kind of a favourites video, but also not. Actually, no, I can't say favourites video because my last video was a favourites video. Today's video is going to be inspired by Soph. She did a video, I think she called it like, if I lost all my makeup, this is what I'd buy first or something like that. I was inspired by her 100%. I don't know if someone else started this kind of video. I'm not sure, but it's not my idea, basically is what I'm trying to say. But I'm basically gonna be doing my take on that video that I saw of Sos, but I thought I would just title it something different. So this video isn't going to be like just all my holy grails because if you do want to see my holy grails, then yearly favorites videos are great references of mine and also my top three in every category. I'll leave that video in the description because that's probably the best video really. Um, but this is gonna be basically kind of like an updated favorites in a way. So these are products where I probably don't talk about them that much on my channel, but if I had to, if I had no makeup, if everything disappeared, these would be the products that I'll think of straight away and I'll be like, I need to, I need to repurchase that. So I'm basically doing that version today. I don't know if that made any sense, but yeah, these are just all the products that I would just have to repurchase and that I just always need in my collection. And like I said, I tried not to be too repetitive in terms of just like holy grails and favorites. Obviously there are some that are just staples for me, but there are a lot of products in here that maybe you, you guys might not know that I love so much. So yeah, that's basically it. A little chit chat, a little, a little get ready with me basically. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So relax as always. And enjoy the video. Also, let me know what your top makeup product would be. If you lost something immediately, like your foundation or blush, let me know what you'd run out and get straight away. Grab your beverage. So, I have done my brows. Brow freeze it is for me. That's all I have to do my brows these days. Um, I think I'm going to start off with the face because... <sighs> Can we, I don't think I've ever been paler than this. Like honestly, what is this? So I'm gonna start off with primer. And this is actually a primer that I, I, I know I've always liked it. Like I've had it for a while, but it's one of those where I just kind of forgot how much I liked it until I actually used it. Like what I usually do for work, I've started a new job now. Like every week I'll kind of rotate my makeup bag, my everyday bag. So I'm not like using the same thing cause not gonna lie, when I wake up in the morning, I'm not gonna go through all nine of my drawers and be like, hmm, what blush do I wanna wear this morning? Like, you know what I mean? Like I just wanna wake up, get ready, have my coffee and go. So I do it like once a week. Um, I'll just switch out kind of my everyday makeup bag just so I'm obviously rotating my makeup so I'm not just wasting everything and everything's not just sat there. Obviously that's the best way for me at the moment now to just test more makeup out as well. Um, so yeah anyway the moral of that story was that I don't even tell you what it is. Sorry it's been a while since I filmed to be fair it's not been a while for you guys but I think it's been like two weeks it's been over two weeks since I've actually filmed anything so it's been a while for me, but this is the NYX Bear With Me Primer, and this has got sunscreen in it as well, so it's your sunscreen and your primer, it's SPF 30, and it's got hemp in it as well, so it's really, really moisturising, and it genuinely is. I've used this for a while, I think I've had this for like over a year, and I really like it. I don't use it, I don't feel like I don't talk about it much on my channel, but I really love this. It's one of those like off-camera favourites that I just always grab. And yeah, this has been in my makeup bag for like the past two weeks, I'd say. Non-stop just been using this because it's just quick to kind of skip a step, you know what I mean? So like skip primer because I've got my sunscreen and everything in one. So moving on to foundation. Well actually, before I do foundation, because it's kind of like a combination, this one, but I would repurchase both of these. So like I said in the intro, this video isn't gonna be like my holy grails, but obviously I tried not to do my holy grails because hopefully you already know what they are. So I'm kind of picking products that are like newer ones where I'm like, ooh, I really love that and ones that, they're basically products I think that I feel like I don't realize how much I love them. This is a little combination that I realize that I used a lot and I, yeah, I, I don't think I talked about it to be fair. So I'm first gonna go in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I have the shade Light Medium, which is three. 
I don't think this is my shade, it's too pink as you can see there. Um, if you've not seen this before, it's supposed to be like a similar cheaper alternative dupe, whatever you want to call it, to the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Hollywood, whatever that's called. I obviously packaging everything, I see how it is a dupe, but this actually gives a lot of coverage to be honest. And then what I like to mix it in, like do a little cocktail with is this, which is the one size turn up the base BBB cream. It's their blurring like tinted balm. I really love this and I just, I just didn't realize it like I said, but the only thing with this, I will say, I hate the packaging on it. I really hate it. It's like this little, it's so messy. It's so, so messy, but I do like that it's in a tube because it's good to travel with and not that I go anywhere. Yeah, this is just a bit messy. I don't like that and it kind of pops out sometimes and it just kind of goes everywhere. That's my only fault with this, but I like to use something like this um, underneath it because this is quite matte. So it gives, using this alongside it or just like a dewy or hydrating primer, it gives me that glow and it's just perfect. So I didn't even get a foundation brush. I'd say, I mean, you don't get a lot of product. So let me just... I mean, I can't have used that much. I have used a lot actually. You know what? I have used it quite a lot. Maybe I have. But yeah, I would prefer a pump because it's a bit, okay, it's peeing a little bit. Sorry, I haven't used it <laughs> in a couple months. So it's like dried up a little bit. That should be enough. But yeah, I really, really love the one size this <laughs> foundation. I think it is genuinely one of my favorites like of all time. I just, it wears incredibly well. Um, so yeah, I can I can see this being in my, my yearly favorites for this year because I found it like, um, I purchased it kind of towards the end of the year. I know this isn't new at all in terms of this year, but it's been sold on Sephora, which obviously we got kind of end of last year, didn't we? So it's made me Definitely want to try more things from the brand, but so I'm excited. But yeah, like I said, because my skin is like so dry and I also really prefer um, like a dewy, a glowy finish, I definitely will always use like a very hydrating or just like glowy primer. This gave me the hydration and then the e.l.f. Halo Glow also just gave me that extra like natural finish that you can see here. I put too much of the e.l.f. thing on, I'm not gonna lie. I forget how much coverage it actually has. Like, I just always think it's literally the Charlotte Tilbury one. Anyway, how are you guys doing? Let me know how we're all doing. I feel like I've just been detached from, um, like, my social platforms and everything. I'm trying to keep on top of everything. That's why I try to, like, pre-film as much as I could before I started my new job. If you couldn't tell how I, like, why and like how I was so consistent the past few months. I haven't been working. I've got a new job now um, and it's a lot. It's one of those things where you just start a new job and you've got to just like learn and a, a load of new things and it's it's a lot. I'm not the brightest bulb. Okay so going in with concealer I was thinking about using I kind of had a few okay I had a few for concealer because I've repurchased my Tarte Shape Tape uh, like two or three times over the past few years. I've always loved that and I feel like I always will. Um, and also my Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer, I repurchased those a lot. Um, but I didn't want to include those because they are favourites of mine. One that I feel like I don't talk about as much but I really do love and as you can see, she's almost out. I think I'm up to... I've got like this much left of it. This is the Il Maquillage Fuck I'm Flawless Concealer. I would definitely get a couple of shades up from this. This one is eight. They have a giant shade range and as good as that is, I feel like it's more difficult because there's just more options where I can go wrong. I'm not the best with picking shades online. And to be fair, even in store, I'm terrible at picking shades because I forget that when you're in a store like Superdrug, for example, like the other day, it was like last week or something, I picked up the new NYX, their like blur, matte and blur, like tinted moisturizer kind of thing. It's in like a similar packaging to this. Picked up a shade and was like, perfect. 
got home, it's so dark. Like the lighting in Superdrug definitely threw me off because I, I got a weird shade. I've got a, I got a shade I'm just gonna have to make work to be honest. I love this concealer. I feel like it's got really, really good coverage but what I love the most is it's so thin and lightweight. It blends out in like two seconds. Yeah, I love this. I would repurchase this brush as well to be honest. Um, I would get another one actually because I do really like it. Quite dark today outside, like it's it's very, very dark. So I'm sorry if it's taken a toll on the video because I feel like it definitely will. Okay, so from that I have learned to just leave things the way they are because that was, that was hectic. All my eyeshadow brushes just fell on the floor and um, we're not gonna let that ruin the day though. All right, should I just powder? It's not gonna make much difference if I powder now. Um, I'm gonna use my Milk Makeup Matte and Blur powder. This one is medium. I don't know why that was so difficult for me. Oh, also, I've actually got a new, I got this. This is from Essence and it's one of those powder puffs, but this is giant. It's called the Multi-Use Airbrush Blender. This was like three pound or something, cause you know, it's Essence. It's not gonna break the bank. <gasps> I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Ooh, yeah, if you're someone that needs to like set your whole face, this is definitely something you might wanna try. I do, as much as I love this powder, it is, I hate the packaging. I just, I don't like these powders that have this net. I understand how it's better, but also it's not. So it is called a multi-use blender. So I don't know if it's gonna be like one of those, you know, like when Tati, came out with that, was it called Blendyful or something? And like, it was like that one, like powder puff like this that you could do your entire face with. So I don't know if this is supposed to be like Essence's like take on that. It's one of my favorite powders. I'd say this and the powder from Refai. Holy Grail powders for me. I like that this one blurs as well. And it is, it is called the matte and blur powder, but for me, it's not matte at all. It's, it's it's just like a normal powder, to be honest. I feel like I can still see like a glow underneath my skin. Eyeshadow. So what I'm gonna do is I am not gonna sit here and just talk through my eyeshadow because you just need to see it, really. So the two that I picked out are favorites. This is, this is the only category I kind of struggled with because I was like, if I'm with eyeshadow palettes, it's like, I only have a few favorites, like I said earlier, so like, if everything disappeared, these are definitely the ones that will come to mind straight away, especially this one. No surprise here, I've talked about these on my channel so much and they're more pricey and I genuinely think they're worth the money. So the first one is the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. They have this one and they have a deeper one as well. Not too bothered about these to be honest, I get this palette for the eyeshadows but I'll still use this if I traveled, not that I do. If I went somewhere for the weekend, I'll be happy to take this. I like the blush, I will use the highlight because it's all there. So this is a good palette in that way for me, but I love all the eyeshadows. I love that I use all of them. And yeah, I just really like the formula, especially of these two shimmers, do really like it. So this is definitely one of them. And then I'm probably gonna go in with this one today. I haven't used it in, it's been, it's been a hot minute since I used this. But this is my Supreme Nudes palette from Artist Couture. This is my favorite eyeshadow palette ever. I've said this a million times. It's always been in favorites videos of mine. Whenever I'm going out out, this is just always the palette I get because it's like, it's safe. It's my comfort. It's never gonna let me down. And for me, apart from, I say this all the time as well. So I'm sorry if you've heard me say this before. I just wish that they had a black. I wish they got rid of maybe this shade or something and just had a black in here. Then it would be perfection. But other than that, it's still my favorite palette to ever exist.
I don't want to move my camera again, but it's so hard for me to like angle it. Is this even straight? Are we straight guys? I don't think so. Okay, so that is pretty much the eyes done. 1200,000 out of 10. Um, I'm just gonna pop on, on my, what is this called? I don't know. I'm just gonna put on some, cause it's not the lower lash, is it? I'm just gonna line my eyes, okay? I'm gonna use this Il Maquillage um, eyeliner. It doesn't have the name on, that is my only issue here. But it's part of Kathleen Light's like collection that she did with them. It's the dark brown one. Nice like chocolate brown. In terms of like liquid eyeliner, it's the NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner. I have the black and the brown. This is the black one. For me, it's the best eyeliner I've ever, ever used. Please, NYX, never change it, never discontinue it because you know what they have discontinued? My favorite foundation. I think this genuinely was my favorite foundation ever, you know? It's the NYX Born to Glow foundation. So if you see this at Superdrug Boots anywhere, grab it quickly because they're discontinuing it for reasons I don't know. Mascara I would definitely repurchase is the Rare Beauty Mascara. Does it have a name? No, just the mascara. <laughs> Um, I guess perfect strokes. I don't know because I know the eyeliner is called that, but this is a great great mascara It's definitely a favorite of mine um, It does because of the mine looks horrible. I should probably clean this up But yeah, I love how thick and volumizing this is this 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 does give my Too Faced mascara a run for its money I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this was a rare beauty product that I didn't love immediately, like, you know, the blushes. I fell in love with those, like, straight away. The cream bronzers fell in love straight away. This wasn't something I was overly obsessed with when I first got it. Like, I did really like it, but I wasn't like, oh my god, I'm obsessed. But the more different mascaras I've tried over the past, like, year or two, and when I go back to this, I realise how much I love it. It does everything that I want it to do. Just because of my lashes, I'm just very picky with them. But yeah, look at that, look at the difference. Let's get this face bronzed because she needs help. Okay, so I was torn between this and my Rare Beauty Cream Bronzer, but I don't know, I, I genuinely didn't know, but I've gone for the Milk Makeup um, Matte Bronzer Stick. Okay, so my only concern is that they don't sell this anymore. I think they do. But I remember seeing a thing when they recently released like liquid contours, uh, like liquid bronzers or something. Um, I saw everyone say, oh, you shouldn't have discontinued the bronzer sticks. And I was like, huh? This is, see, this has always been my OG like cream contour, like, cream bronzer favorite. The Rare Beauty one, since they've come out, that has been like my favorite as well. But this is still like my staple, like this is my one. <laughs> You know what I mean? Um, but Rare Beauty does come very close. I just love the formula. I love this colour as well. I love it. I love it. it. I don't, I don't know. I really don't know how to explain it. I think it's how it blends out. It honestly, it looks like I've kind of contoured my face, but then it's like bronzed at the top. Like, I don't know. I really don't know how to explain it. It's just the blend of it is just unreal. And I really love this. If you can definitely still get this, highly recommend. I think it's worth the price. Obviously it's milk, a little bit more pricey, but like I said, for me, this is definitely worth it. And I would run to get another one of these. Let me see how much I've got left actually. Do I wanna, no actually, do I wanna see? Do I wanna see? Cause I have had this a while. Oh, 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 we're fine. Oh shit, oh, you got a lot of product in here. That was me genuinely thinking that. Okay, I get it's expensive, but what cream bronzer do you know do you get this? It's not even finished yet, but I'm scared of winding it up too much and then it doesn't go back down. You get a shit ton of product in here, so you're good. Cream blush. I am gonna go in with the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Blushes because I've honestly, I've fallen in love with this so much. I'm not gonna use Maui today, which is, is my favorite. I really like this shade as well, which is called Bermuda. I've talked about it enough, you're probably sick of it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go in with this one. It's like a vibrant -y kind of pink. I think I'm I'm going towards more pinky blushes, I've noticed. Pink blushes are the one that kind of catch my eye these days. I've talked about it enough. You are probably sick of me, but I thought I'd switch up the colour for today. So I'm gonna do powder blush and powder bronzer as well. Um, so for bronzer, an old fave of mine, but 
Again, I'd run to Boots and get another one of these. Um, I've almost hit pan, to be honest, on this. This is the Fenty Sunstalker Bronzer in Private Island. It's just the shade for me. This shade, oh, it's beautiful. And I love the formula. I'm obsessed. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to see it as much, obviously, because we've already got quite a bit on, but I'm just gonna use this just for a bit of extra definition. Then for blush, I just had to, like I honestly, I had to, I know I said I wasn't going to do holy grails, but it's been a while. It's been a long while. It's going to have to be the Burt's Bees blushes for me. I had to use these in this video because the other day I noticed, I don't know if you remember, if you've been watching me for a while, then you may already have known this, but this is my favourite. This is my favourite blush of all time, ever, whether it's cream or powder. Burt's Bees Toasted Cinnamon is my favourite. I thank Kathleen Lights because this is still, I think this is still one of her favourite blushes. She's the one that got me to purchase this. I love it. It is, it's just always going to be my favourite. It is the perfect warm brown. I've never found a blush this colour. The most similar one I have found, if you do want something like this, the most similar one is an e.l.f. blush. It's called Always Earthy. I'll add a picture of it so you can see. That's the closest thing I've ever found to it. But for me, it's just the formula. The formula is different because this just gives a glow and nice sheen to the skin. And oh, it's just unbeatable. So the other week, so anyway, sorry, my brain is doing that thing again. What I was saying a second ago was if you've watched my videos before, then I don't know if you remember me mentioning that I think when I moved here, the pan of toasted cinnamon just completely fell out so it's always been a bit like broken and then I ha I've had it in my drawer not moved it really because I don't use it that much but well anymore I don't use it that much because I just I just want to keep it I have to treasure this this is how important this blush is to me um, so I just wanted to keep it safe but then I noticed in my drawer the other day that it had completely just shattered and if you follow my Instagram actually a few weeks ago I posted it on my story when it had completely shattered um, I was still gonna keep it and luckily my boyfriend did a DIY job. I don't know how he did it, I genuinely don't. I think he used like alcohol or something because if you look at Bare Peach, this is also one of my faves. You can see it's got the, that like pattern, kind of like the beehive kind of pattern, but I think he, what did he say? He used like a makeup wipe or something and it strangely had the same pattern on. Did, don't know how he managed that. But yeah, he did a DIY job anyway and he's fixed it for me, thank God because I was very upset and he was like, don't throw it away, we'll we'll fix it, we'll fix it. I'm gonna mix them both together today. I don't know, I can't choose, I cannot choose um, what I wanna do. Um, I'm using, oh, by the way, I'm using my new favorite like brush set. This is uh, from Spectrum, I love these brushes. So for my powder bronzer, I use the AO5 brush and then I'm using the, no, sorry, it's D, it's not A. D04, anyway, for blush, and I'm gonna mix the two. I know you can't tell much difference because I do, like I said, I already had cream on, but they're always my faves. They're always gonna be my faves. Okay, let's do set and spray really quick. This is the NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh Mist. I don't know why I love this so much. I think it's just the bottle, it just looks good, and I love the mister. All right, we are pretty much done. We're just gonna do lips. So for lip liner, it has to be this. This is the Alamar Cosmetics Lip Liner in Dulce. This is one of my favorite lip liners ever. I have tried a few things from them. I have two lip liners. I have their blush palette and a bronzer palette. I love everything I've tried from them. Um, the shipping wasn't too pricey to be fair, but I love the shade of this pencil so much. But yeah, these are so long lasting, they're so comfortable, so creamy. It's a pencil, as you've just seen. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I love these, they have a good shade range in their lip liners as well. For lipstick, I have two different brands to mention, but I thought I'd go based on whatever makeup look I was doing and then I'll pick one. First one is the Rare Beauty lipsticks. These are just so good, I love the formula. I wanna get more of these, definitely. I have the shade Fun which it looks like this. I think this might be a bit too pinky for this lip liner today. I love the shade, look at that. Really nice, like pinky brown. And my other favorites as well, this is the Cash Beauty Lipstick in True Nude. I love that this packaging as well, look. 
some magnetic clothes. I love that, just the little things, you know? And this is that. This is just one of my favorite lipsticks ever. Like, oh, look at that, that was a perfect shade. So I'm gonna use this one. It smells like chocolate. So it is a bit lighter. Yeah, I wouldn't pair this with this lip liner, to be honest. I'd do a lip liner that's a bit more brown, but but anyway, that is it for the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what products you would run out and buy first if everything disappeared. And yeah, let me know what you think of the makeup look and just anything. As always, leave me a comment down below. I'm gonna wipe these swatches off before I get makeup everywhere. That is it for the video. So thank you for joining me as always. Appreciate you a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Hope you're all doing good and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.